Okay, at this point, I have the background layer and the gradient layer. And before I do anything else, I want to put one of the images I downloaded from the internet on here. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open this picture of Baby Yoda. Okay, now he's on a separate, he's a separate image up here. You can drag him down and see what's going on. But when I'm trying to work on one photo, I like to keep it isolated like this. I don't want to see both photos at the same time because it's very, very easy for me to get distracted. I want to delete this white background here because if I move this to the other photo, it's going to have a white box around it, which I don't want. So in order to do that, I'm going to unlock the background. If I don't do that, Content Aware will try to do some other weird fix to it. So I want to do it the way I want to do it. So I'm going to unlock the background. And then I'm going to select the white area. And so I'm going to go to the magic wine tool to do this. Now, sometimes it won't work the way you want it to. So this is the default tolerance settings for the magic wine tool. As you can see here, at a tolerance of 32, it's selecting more area than I want. It's picking up more. And I don't want it, I don't want to lose part of this cope here. So I'm going to uh, so deselect this and change the tolerance to 10 so that the magic wand tool won't pick up so much. This is pretty good. It also is picking up the shadow, but that's okay with me. And then I'm going to delete that background just, just by pushing the delete button. Okay, now before you move it, Make sure you do this. Do select, deselect. Otherwise, it's going to move this part over, which is blank, rather than, than the Yoda doll. Now I'm going to drag it down here. And you're going to run into different problems when you do this. You may have to erase part of your image and so on and so forth. So be careful what you select. And if it's got a bunch of lines or things attached to the thing you're selecting, you're going to have to erase them before you move it, or you could erase them afterwards. But a lot of times it's more difficult when you do it after. So I want to resize them. So I've got the move tool. Remember, if I just do this without holding down shift, it'll keep the same proportions. But I want to show you something. I increased the size. And it's starting to lose quality, but that's only because I have not committed myself to this size image. Once I click on the check mark, the quality returns if the image itself is large enough. But I don't want it to be this large on the page, and I don't want the shadow to show up. So I'm going to move it down here like this and click on the check mark. So now at this point, I've got a background, a gradient, and one image. So I'm going to do File, Save As. And remember, um, I just reset Photoshop. That's why this is happening. To just save it as Final Project, overwrite the other. And just click that if it shows up. Now you've got the three images. And as long as you keep it as Final Project, as a PSD, you're going to keep all three. You don't want to save it prematurely as a JPEG and then have to start the whole thing over.